And now I need to get the handrail in. That's a mixture of alizarin crimson and sepia. And because there's a lot of handrail, I'm going to use a card and I'm just going to rub with my brush some alizarin crimson and sepia along the edge. I'll just rub that along the bumps in the paper and that just makes it so much easier and you get a lovely straight line that's broken. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way along. can go in as well and then with the smaller edge of your card and a little bit more red we can put some of the bars in now you don't want to put all of these in you can overdo it so just put them in little places all along just quite randomly really and up on this one as well you could spend ages doing this with a brush and putting every single one in and yet this will be far more effective. And I'll just put the finishing touches to that, top of the handrails. And there's a lighter line that we can still use the card for, so with just a little bit of burnt umber. The lights you only have to indicate, so just use a little bit of a watered down version of the Prussian blue and sepia. So you haven't drawn those in full, just little indications of them. Got a dark line coming down here, across there. I'm just going to fill in some of the darker lines on the seat, so that's using sepia, just... Now behind the musicians you've got some glass doors, so first of all I'm going to use some sepia to put in the structure. And whilst that's wet, because I want it all to be quite loose. I want it quite light to show them up, but it's dark actually on the photograph, but I'm going to use some raw siennas and some oranges and just make it lighter behind them so they show up. Bit of orange for light. We can take that into a sepia at the top. And do the same with the other one. So sepia for the structure of them. A little bit of orange to see the shape. I use a bigger brush, I use a size 16. And just drip in some sepias, some Prussian blues. And we've got our windows. A little bit of red. Alright, just a few finishing touches now. I'm going to put a shadow underneath the cup on the table. And just fill in the dark areas under the table, a dark mix of Prussian blue and intense violet and sort of anything that you've got really. And I put in some lettering, that doesn't have to be exact, just indications. And we need the bows of the violins going in, so with some sepia, just the small edge of the card, put the sepia on the edge. Just 
putting a few crease marks on the clothes. And there's something on the floor that I can't make out, so we'll just join that up. I think it's some sort of bag or something that they're keeping stuff in, and we just need a few shadows. So I use ultramarine and burnt umber just to anchor the musicians down to the ground. Okay, so that's the painting finished. So with just a few simple brush marks, you can create the atmosphere of Covent Garden really easily. Don't be scared that it's too complicated, it isn't. You can do it. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.